If you're from the US and you shop on eBay, you've probably came across this eBay store right here called AM Auto Parts, and they've sold over 11 million different items since 2004. And the amount of money that this eBay store is making is the most money I've seen any eBay seller make in just 30 days. And you've probably already seen the amount in the title. But what I wanna do is go through exactly how much money they're making and also go through exactly what they're doing right so that if you're looking to sell on eBay or you already sell on eBay, you're gonna be able to now implement some of these tactics to your own eBay business. Let's go. What is going on people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam. And what I do here is break down various different tips and tricks when it comes to making money online. In today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is going through around four or five different things that this multi-millionaire eBay seller is doing right with their store so that you guys can go away and potentially make more money on eBay. And by the way, let me just quickly jump in and show you exactly how much money they're making. So as you guys can see, in the last 30 days, according to Zeke Analytics, this eBay seller was able to generate 4.5 million pounds in just one month. And 4.5 million pounds in US dollars is around 5.5 million dollars, which means that if they do the same thing for the next 12 months, which is a year, they're gonna make around 66 million dollars from just one eBay store, which is ridiculous. And as I already said in the intro, this is the most money that I've seen any eBay seller make. So without wasting any more time, I wanna jump straight into it. So if you find any value in this video at any point, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's jump straight into the video. All right, so one of the first things that this eBay seller is doing right is that their branding is on point. And if I just jump into the laptop, as you guys can see, the name of their store is AM Auto Parts. And just looking at the logo, AM stands for aftermarket, which means that any person that comes across this eBay seller's store or their branding is automatically going to know that they are focused on selling aftermarket auto parts. So they basically named their company after the type of items that they sell. And I believe that this is one of the best things that you could do with any business, not just an eBay business, any online business that you're thinking about starting. So as you guys know, or if you don't know, I've got various different e-commerce businesses, but I've also got a lot of digital product businesses too. Like for example, I've got a step-by-step -step guide called Project eBay. And I'm sure just by hearing that name, you know exactly what the step-by-step -step guide is gonna be about. It's gonna be a guide on teaching you how to sell on eBay. Or I've got another guide called Project Shopify. And it's the same thing. I teach you guys exactly how to build a Shopify business. Or even take this YouTube channel, for example, Success with Sam. I teach you various different success tips and my name is Sam. So every single online business that I build, I always like to make sure that whatever I'm focused on selling is in the name. So whenever a customer comes across that business, they know exactly what I sell. And that's exactly what this eBay store has done. They've centered their business around selling aftermarket parts, which means that it's not coming directly from the manufacturer. And the reason why they've probably stated it in the name of the company is because not everyone wants to buy genuine car parts because they know that it's going to be a little bit more expensive. There's a big market out there for people that just want to buy aftermarket car parts. And that's one of the reasons why they're letting any potential customer know straight away that they don't specialize in selling genuine parts directly from the manufacturer. Now, moving on to one of the next interesting things about this eBay store is that if I just jump back over to Zeke Analytics, and by the way, I don't think I've introduced Zeke Analytics in this video. If you've been watching me for some time, you know exactly what it is. It's basically a product research software that helps you do various bits of product research specifically when it comes to selling on eBay. And they've got a tool called Competitor Research. And this is what I'm using when it comes to spying on this eBay seller store. And one of the useful bits of information that Zeke Analytics is gonna be able to show us is what active listings, the amount of products that they've got in their store at the moment. And as we can see, this eBay seller has over 78,000 different listings currently on their store at the moment. And the reason why this is important to know is because a lot of people just wanna list five products, maybe 10 items, or even 50 items and believe that they're gonna be able to have a multi-million dollar eBay store. And sometimes it can work depending on the value of your items and depending on what items you're selling. But most of the time, you're gonna need a lot of items listed on your eBay store for you to make a decent amount of money. And we can see that that's the case with this eBay store right here. They've got over 78 active listings, which has now 
allowed them to make over 4.5 million pounds. But it's important for me to let you guys know that even though the more listings that you have, the more money that you can potentially make, the more listings that you do have, the more problematic it can be. Of course, it's going to be good, but there's also a bad side to it as well. And I've noticed this in my own business. I've noticed that the more I've scaled up my eBay store to over 300 different active listings to over 2,000 active listings, as you can see right here with one of my eBay stores, I've got over 2,000 active listings at the moment and this has been good because of course i'm making money i'm making revenue i'm making profit but it's also bad because it means that you now have to manage all of these different listings and when i say that you have to manage it you have to do stock check you have to make sure that each individual item that you have is selling well you have to do various different things the more items that you try to add to your business and i'd honestly say that this is one of the biggest drawbacks of running a physical product business because of course the more items that you have available gives you the opportunity of making more money but at the same time the more items that you do have available the more risk that you're going to be exposed to because anything can happen ebay can shut down your account or your distribution could get closed down even if you have your own website etc anything can happen where the more items that you're holding you're putting yourself at a bigger risk but at the same time this is just one of the elements of running a physical product business that you need to be aware of and i just thought i'd let you guys know moving on to the third thing that i noticed that they're doing right which is that they offer international shipping so if i just go back over to their ebay store and i click on any one of their listings scrolling down over here to the shipping section if i just click on see details and these are all the places that they currently ship to so they ship to quite a lot of places they even ship to more places than me i don't believe they ship to places in africa and a lot of the riskier places but they do ship to south america and the caribbeans and places like that so they seem to ship all around the world and this is important again to know because for you to increase your revenue in your business, specifically with a physical product business, you want to make sure that you're not just selling within your country. This is one of the earliest things I needed to learn when it came to building up my seven figure eBay store, which is that I needed to ship outside of the UK. Initially, I was only shipping within the UK for around a year, maybe two years. But I realized that for me to make more money, it will only make sense for me to target customers all around the world. And as soon as I flipped that switch and I started sending out to places in Europe and to America and all around the world, my revenue increased by maybe double or even triple. And this is something that not a lot of US eBay sellers do. I've been doing a little research now on various different American eBay stores and not all of them ship internationally, whereas this one is shipping to places in Asia, Europe, even the Caribbeans, as I already said. So this is something else that you guys can implement to your own eBay store. Whether you're based in Canada, you know, UK, USA, wherever you're based, try and offer shipping to various different people all around the world. And I'm sure that it's going to have a dramatic increase on your revenue that you're getting every single month. Going over to one of the last things that I want to show you, which is on Zeke Analytics, and this is very insightful and I thought that you guys need to see it. So if we go to Zeke Analytics, we scroll down, they're able to show us the top performing items that brought in the most money in the last 30 days. So these items right here, the top items that you can see are the ones that contributed to them making this amount, 4.5 million pounds. And the reason why this is useful is because we're going to be able to see various bits of data like for example when they first listed the item on their ebay store we're also going to be able to see the total amount of units that they sold for the item as well as the price that they're selling the item for and one interesting thing that you guys need to know is that the item that sold the most for them in the last month was listed on ebay in 2013 and at the time of recording this video we're currently in 2022 which means that it's been almost 10 years since they listed this item but yet it's still bringing in a decent amount of sales for them and the reason why this is important to know is because a lot of people want to list an item today and start making sales from it tomorrow but you have to be patient especially if you've done the right amount of research to make sure that people are buying it and you've also made sure that the item is an evergreen item which means that people are going to buy it over the long term there's no way that this item would have been their top performing product if it wasn't for them selling an evergreen product because of course if they listed it in 2013 and it was a trending item then people will stop buying it after a couple months or after a year but again it's been almost 10 years since they listed it and they're still making a decent amount of sales and that goes the same thing with the second best performing item too as you guys can see this one was listed in 2013 too same thing with the third one and the one after that was listed in 2016. And just by taking a quick glance, I would say that the top 
10 to maybe top 15 items were listed in 2013, 2016. There's one here that was listed in 2020. So a lot of the products that they focused on selling are evergreen items. And that's the reason why they've been able to make a massive amount of sales. So one key lesson that we can all learn here is that when you're doing your product research and you're deciding on what product or what category to build your entire business around, try and sell an item that you know people may need over the next five to 10 years. Because by doing this, you'll know that the effort, energy, and time that you're putting into growing your business isn't going to go in vain because people are most likely going to need to buy that item for years to come. And one other interesting fact before I move on is that if we look at the price that they're selling these items for, the top 10 items in their store, we can see that majority of them are over you know, $30, $40. The second best performing one is around 93 pounds, which is around $110. This one right here is £64. This one's £70. This one's £90. A lot of the items in their top 10 best selling items are valued above $50. And the reason why I'm bringing this to your attention is because this is what has allowed them to have a large amount of revenue because they focused on selling items that have a high value. And one of the things that I had to learn in my early days of building up my eBay business is that there's no point really selling items for around £2, $4, maybe $7, or you know ten dollars of course you can you know to draw people into your business and then maybe you can upsell them with something else but it's going to be a waste of your time and energy when it comes to importing it from your supplier and then you now shipping it out to your customer all of the hassle that you're going to deal with when it comes to paying for shipping import fees stock management you know all of these different things it's not really worth it when it comes to selling a cheap item specifically when you're selling on ebay and that's why in some cases it makes more sense for you to Focus your energy on selling a higher value item. Now, of course, it's going to depend on how much money you have to invest. But if you are in a position where you're deciding on selling a cheaper item or you're deciding on selling an item between maybe $40, maybe $30 minimum up to around, you know, $70, then it might be better for you to do that. But again, this is going to come with its own risk because if you're selling items with a high value, customer doesn't like it, they want to send it back. It's going to be a bit of a headache again. So there's going to be pros and cons with this, but at the end of the day, the higher the value of the items that you're selling, the more likely you're going to be able to make more profit. The more profit you can make, the more you can reinvest back into your business. And that's something that this eBay seller seems to be focusing on. A lot of their items have a high value. And if we scroll up to the top right here, Zeke Analytics is able to show us the average price of all the items in their store in the last 30 days. And as you guys can see, it's £74, which is around $90. So have a little think about it. See whether or not selling higher valued items is going to be beneficial for your business. But you're going to need to do research on the pros and the cons before you send any money to any supplier for any product that you're thinking about selling. Now, if you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when a new video has been released and don't forget that if you want to go away and spy on your competition too you can sign up to Zeke Analytics for a seven day trial by using the link in my description down below and if you also want to sign up to a free webinar where I go through my story in terms of what I needed to learn when it came to getting started on eBay as a complete beginner that link is going to be down below too it might be the first link in the description and if you want to watch another video that I made recently where I broke down another eBay seller store in the UK that's worth over 18 million pounds I'm gonna leave that video right there make sure you watch that video straight after this one because I break down similar things and show you what they're doing right and various other things that you guys can learn from all right guys I'll see you on the next one make sure you stay safe out there peace